Hello guys and welcome to this new Blender problem solving video. I am working on a new class on Skillshare to make this face rig and it uses procedural textures for the mouth and for the eyes. Uh, if I go here to the left eye material you can see that I have a rather complex node set up to create this procedural eye but I wanted to give my students an alternative to use image textures and it looks straightforward but it's not that simple so i have here an image texture node with a png image a transparent png or a png with alpha and this is how the node looks by default and you see that it's great here i have here my texture coordinate set on object so that i can control the iris using an empty object and today we'll see how we can display the eye correctly here. So the first thing is to change the placement of the color here to B. And then we change this color here to white. This white color will be our background behind the eye. And in B we will have our texture. And then we need the data of the alpha of the image. So we get the alpha here and we plug it on the factor. And you see that the eye is not yet displayed. Let's enable our is here and you see that we have a bone and we have an empty so this empty is parented to the bone so that when we move the bone the empty also moves and this is the empty that we are using in our texture coordinate nodes here and we need the eye to be centered on this empty so on the mapping nodes i think by default it is at points we change this to texture and in the image texture node we need to change here from flat to box and this is the most confusing part because we are supposed now to see the eye here but we see nothing and the reason for this and it took me some time to figure it out is that the texture is really zoomed in the texture here is so huge that we only see the transparent parts here so let's go here to the mapping node under scale click and drag down and move sideways and decrease the size here and we already see the eyes you can hit shift press shift and do it again and make your movements precise in here i think this is good and now you see that we have all these new irises and that's because we have repeat on here under the texture node so change from repeat to clip or you can use extent it seems to have the same result and now we have another problem is that the eye or the iris is not centered on our empty to fix that you can either change the location here and move to the center but you see that it's not working very well even while pressing shift so let's change this back to zero and zero and the better fix is to do shift a to add a new node type in math choose vector math put it between these two nodes to plug it and now we have again xyz xyz and we should type in 0.5 in x to center it vertically and then 0.5 in the z to center it horizontally so 0.5 enter now it is centered and we can scale it either using the empty or using the spawn or we can also change the scale here and it is perfectly centered we can also rotate it using the y value here and it rotates on that center this is how you can add an image texture to your eye rig or anywhere that you are using an empty or an object to control the movements of your texture so this is it guys i'm still working on the course and it will be published soon but i have a beginner grease pencil course already on skillshare the link in the description if you have a skillshare account and if you haven't you can register and get one month free and watch it for free thank you for watching see you in another video and peace